Today, I want to talk to you about upgrades to the Open Muscle Dev Kit that I'm working on, some PCB changes, some requests from the community, um, and some exciting future ventures. So join me today as I talk about Open Muscle, my passion at trying to make a positive impact in this world. So Open Muscle is a open source and open hardware muscle sensing device that predicts finger movements based off of muscle contractions in the forearm. It's a fancy way of saying that if someone is missing a hand but has an intact forearm, open muscle pressure sensor myography attempts to predict finger movements just from the muscles that are intact. So where we're at in the process, we've successfully measured the muscle contractions with a custom pressure sensor. And I'm calling these a PMG for pressure myography. Uh, MMGs are very similar. They're low frequency mechanical myography devices. There's some fancy words there that are a little bit beyond me, but essentially they're looking for the mechanical um, vibrations that stem from the muscle contracting. The PMG sensor is comprised from off-the-shelf components. These are keyboard switches, Hall effect sensor keyboard switches, and, but instead of a Hall switch underneath these is a linear Hall effect sensor. Now these linear Hall effect sensors can measure the different pressures radially around the forearm. Now when paired with a label device like the LASK system, which stands for label seeking, we can accurately predict finger movements. Now, where we're at is the last open muscle band was called OM12. It was a prototype, but all the wires got in the way. Now in the open muscle PMG dev kit, what we're using is keyboard switches instead of custom mechanical pistons with a lot of components. So these keyboard switches are relatively inexpensive, paired with two custom PCBs for the band. Now there are six cells in the PMG sensor band and each cell is comprised of two PMG sensors. Now there's one ESP32 that links two cells together. This reduces some of the overhead when it comes to wire harnessing or the infrastructure required to, to route all of these wires. Now the battery is on one cell while the ESP32 is on the other hopefully a little bit alleviating some of the weight of the system. Now the weight of each of these cells affects how much it can measure, which is interesting. It's a difficult problem to solve, but that's why it's open source and open hardware. So this weekend I was busy at working, trying to modify the cables um, so that way uh, I could test this new band out. I've ordered the new PCBs for the label system. Now, Ultimate Robotics has their own label system that I helped them make called U-Label. U-Label is meant to work with the whole ecosystem that they've created at Ultimate Robotics. They have the U-Myo, U-ECG, they have the base station, the battery charging station, and soon they will start selling the U-Label system, which ties together their EMG sensors with their NRF-based ecosystem of microcontrollers. Now open muscle, we're using MicroPython because I believe MicroPython is very fast and easy to use, and it lowers the requirement to getting your hands on this technology if you're a student or someone interested in learning. Now, this is where innovation can happen. Young minds, people in school can put, you know, solve one piece of the problem at a time and keeping it open source and open hardware fosters growth and hopefully encourages the whole industry to progress. And that is one of the mission statements of Open Muscle. Now, Open Muscle was founded by me, Tori, AKA Turfta, and this was a long time in the making. I aim to create an open source and open hardware ecosystem similar to what Ultimate Robotics is doing. And I want this to eventually be able to be its own non nonprofit self-sustaining, but I believe I am gonna work at creating for-profit items as well, um, just because there is money needed to fund these, and I'm not necessarily sure how our funding sources are gonna go. This is a collaboration with multiple countries, so it makes the law kind of interesting. Um, so if you want to join in uh, and you can help with whatever, please join. Now, these off-the-shelf PMG sensors are quite cool, I've noticed just today that the ESP32C3 DevBoard Super Mini variant huh, 
<laughs> that the board, uh, the ADC on pin two is reading at 3.3 volts. And I'm assuming that this dev kit that I'm using for the prototype uh, is probably sampling the actual voltage of the microcontroller. Uh, I did not see that in the documentation. And that is why when you're in engineering, you really do want to read the documentation. So this is a lesson more for myself. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So I'm going to reroute pin two. I have the bracelet pretty much designed. I have the label system coming in the mail. Uh, I ordered the custom PCBs. I will have to make that modification for the ADC. Ultimate Robotics Store is up with the EMG sensors and they have gifted us three EMG. I already had four sensors I purchased from in the past and now I have another three. I was doing some research and using U-Label, our joint system label device, uh, the NRF based chip with them. And I was able to make some progress, but one of my boards was having an issue. So hopefully those new boards coming in will allow me to have spare parts as where before I did not have any spare parts. So if something broke, my progress was at a standstill. So this is the updates for August. Um, Delta Robotics is also uh, partnering with us. You know, of course, these are just interactions that we have, but there are many companies that have a similar mission to what Open Muscle is trying to do, what I'm trying to do. And I'm just trying to gather all those people together uh, so that way we can uh, learn from one another. Another, uh, there are some interesting AI partners that I have. Um, one of them is actually a Sensi ML. They reached out to me a long time ago showing me what they're doing. They just released an open source version of their software. So if you do embedded artificial intelligence, go ahead and check out Sensi ML. Um, I don't use them too terribly much because a lot of what I'm doing is custom. But if you have a need for embedded AI systems, I think deep learning, I think deep learning and machine learning are going to bring tons of innovation to many different domains. So uh, learning about this technology, getting your hands on the tech is another mission for open muscle. So I am working on documentation. I'm working on helping Ultimate Robotics. Go check out their store. Their dev kit is already ready. Uh, they already have the EMG sensors. I'm writing some of the code in MicroPython. I post that in GitHub repositories. You'll find me interacting on their Discord server. And uh, I, I have been getting increasingly busy, if you couldn't tell by the number of dings my phone has. But let's take a look down real quick at just what I have on the table. So uh, what I have right now, this is the new 3D printed case for the label system for both the LASK system, which is the ESP32 and MicroPython based label machine and U-Label, which is an NRF52832, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the base station, of course, is an NRF52840 because it needs the USB connections. So these are the 3D printed little cells. And here are the two units together. And you can see that these are just keyboard switches. So they're rated. So the mechanical engineering overhead, the requirements to make a switch like this or a sensor, it's high. So having off the shelf components is very desirable, especially for if you are trying to make something open source, <laughs> make it inexpensive, easy to use. So well, a little bit of a personal update, I do have um, I do artificial intelligence consulting. I do information technology consulting, and I have a main job that I work diligently at. So I've been quite busy as of late, but it has been um, uh, it has been a journey. So I don't post videos that frequently. I try to do it when I have free time, and I try to make my videos count. Um, so if you like certain content, please let me know. Um, it is more of a hobby. Uh, and yeah, I don't earn any, uh, earn any, any money from anything. So this is just me trying to share the stuff that I'm passionate about and hopes that I can make a positive difference. And another personal, uh, uh, personal triumph is I've been sober for two and a half years. So I quit drinking alcohol two and a half years ago, uh, and I've been pretty productive. Uh, but one of the things that I always have an existential, um, crises, it seems like, what is the purpose of life? Why are we here? And when you go through difficult times, it makes it difficult to understand purpose and not be jaded. So uh, yeah, I do all these things just for my own sanity, uh, to make sure that something is exciting. 
And with that, I do want to leave off. This is somewhat controversial. Uh, uh, open Muscle, yeah, I think I already talked about it, but Open Muscle is not for profit or nonprofit. It's just a project. Uh, I may incorporate at some point, and I may incorporate the for profit before I do the nonprofit. It doesn't change any of the status of my open hardware and software designs. It just means that I'm trying to structure open muscle so that way the nonprofit sector will focus on education and open hardware things. The for profit will have to focus on the FDA approval, the clinical trials. Uh, there's a lot of rigmarole to um, overcome in the coming days. And so there is a place for altruism in business and there is a place for wisdom and discernment. So I've never accepted donations. Uh, I don't know if I ever will in the future. Um, hopefully this project outgrows me. And so I'm trying to create structure and infrastructure so that way it can be a uh, community. Uh, but again, I'm just one person. I need help. And that's my call to action. So if you're interested in this project, if you want to get involved in making your own board, reach out to me. Uh, you know, I have all the PCB schematics. It's very sporadic online. I, I need help with documentation, electric engineering when it comes to power management, um, maybe even some mechanical engineering things for the future. So uh, if you feel like you want to help, please reach out. And I do have a Discord for Open Muscle. I might start posting on my new YouTube channel. I've created a Open Muscle YouTube channel. So my Turf the YouTube channel is primarily me just being interested in the things that I'm interested in. But Open Muscle will have the more educational videos, the tutorials, um, and hopefully some other items. So as I grow with, with my organization, if anybody has skills in which they think that would be helpful to apply to this project, please reach out again. Uh, yeah, and that's it. So that is my August 11th, 2024 update for Open Muscle and just kind of a little bit of personal items. So if you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button, uh, bell icon if you want to get notified of my future videos. Uh, and as always, let's see if we can make a positive difference in this world. Till next time.